Everybody, my name is Mr. Rich. Here's my email, richvi.uei.edu. Here's my phone number. You can reach me at 323-631-9494. Today's date is the 23rd of October, and we are doing motor theory and industrial control. So the objectives, we're gonna connect a step-down transformer along with a solid-state relay in order to control two loads that simulate two motors. The equipment we need is a 120-24 step-down transformer and a solid-state relay. The tools that we're gonna need are a flathead screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and wire strippers. Materials, 14 gauge, THHN, a terminal block, some wire nuts, two lamps, and a couple of uh, one forest box. So the idea is we want to control two loads using an A-pin solid state relay. So this is our setup here. So let's kind of go over the different components and how they work before we look at the overall big picture of things. So this is a solid state relay. This is very different than your traditional electromechanical relay. This uses solid state devices, such as diode, light emitting diode, and a triac. So the cool thing about this device is that we can control turning on loads on different times. So we look at the specs here. This says that the coil is 24 volts AC or DC, convenient. And this is able to run 120 volt source through different pins. So now let's go over the different pin out here. This is your eight pin base. Pins two and seven are for the coil. And there are two sets of normally open and normally closed. Now, the two in the middle up here are your normally closed contacts. The two on the outer are your normally open. Now, we have a common right here where we're gonna supply voltage. This is your constant 120 volt AC source. Now the coil is energized with 24 volts. Now, where does that 24 volts come from? It comes from this step down transformer. So we have to feed in a line and a neutral here in order to step down that voltage and make that 24 volts. Now, these are your pins two and seven here for the coil. Now, order does not matter for the coil, meaning the polarity can be reversed. Now, let's go over your normally closed and normally open contacts. So you have a 120 volt source coming from here, and you have 120 volt feeding out from your normally closed. This means that your light is always on until it is switched on otherwise, becoming normally open by this guy right here, normally open, uh, your, your solid state relay. Now this is your normally open, so your lamp will be off up until it becomes normally closed, or in other words, energized by the solid state relay. Now, let's connect this as such, and let's kind of go over the different functions here. So here we have flasher on, which is what we want. Flasher on means that your normally open and normally closed will alternate based on some time. So in order to read this diagram here, we go A is off, B is off, C is on, and D is off, which is what we have here. A is off, B is off, C is on, and D is off. That takes care of that portion. Now, here are your time controls. So here you can go one second to 512 seconds. This is dual time. So we're gonna use T1 because we're gonna use only 16 seconds here. So that means that every 16 seconds, these lamps will alternate, meaning one will be on and one will be off. So we're gonna try that out here. We're gonna connect our 120 volt source. And then this system is being controlled by your traditional single pole switch here. So I'm gonna turn the switch on and you see that one lamp turns on, which is your normally closed. But after 16 seconds, we expect that your normally closed becomes normally open and your normally open will become normally closed. And it will consistently alternate up until you de-energize the circuit through the single pole switch.
And there we have it. So now this light here indicates the status of the solid state relay. It will turn on and off when the system alternates. So now you have a green light, meaning that your normally closed became normally open. And again, 16 seconds is the time interval or the time delay. This is a time delay block. This is very useful in motor control so that you can control the time your motors turn on. We're gonna wait for this to alternate one more time and then we will de-energize the circuit. There we have it. So we will switch off the single pole and disconnect our power source. So now let's kind of do a general overview of our setup here. So we have a single pole switch that is feeding into a terminal block. Now that 120 volt source coming from here is what powers this transformer. Your neutral is your line two of your transformer here, okay? So let's go ahead and use this time here to tidy up our connections because we have a few loose connections here. So we gotta make sure that everything's tight. So our terminal block also are designed to handle certain ampacities. So you gotta make sure that before handling a load, that your terminal block is rated for that ampacity. So now you have line one and line two. So in ladder logic, we like to use line one L1 or L2. So this is supplying that 120 volts to your step down transformer. Now you notice we have orange and we have red here. So your red indicates the 208 volt source and your uh, orange indicates your 240 volt source in case you need to step down those higher voltages. If you don't use them, they go cap. Now this is your secondary side or your load side. This is your 24 volts feeding into the coil of the solid state relay. Now notice there's a constant 120 volt source feeding into your common pin. That's very useful because up until the coil is energized, the 120 will not feed out unless it is a normally closed. So you're normally open, will only feed 120 volt source from the 120 volts up until this becomes normally closed. Alrighty, 